Hello friends, welcome to Eltropic Cells. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, it's a 40 inch Panasonic LED TV. Here in this TV, the fault is panel related issue. Here you can see the complaint is graphics related issue. See friends, here you can see in this TV you can see a vertical and horizontal lines on the display along with yellowish color so here you can see it's a Inolex panel these types of complaints are mainly due to missing of any voltages from the side curve of the panel we can also call it as gate cuff. See friends, now we open the panel frame. Along with this word, here you can see a vertical line on the display. It's because of main cuff related issue. We can solve it by using a panel bonding machine. Here actually this fault is mainly because of VGH, VGL any voltage missing from the gate cough from the scalar PCB you can see this line will be there after repair we can solve this line related problem only by using a panel bonding machine other than this graphics related issue is mainly because of VGH or VGL voltage missing from the gate cuff of the panel. We can solve this issue by bypassing the missing voltage from the scalar PCB of the panel to this side cuff using a jumper wire. See friends, here while checking I found that the problem is with VGL voltage here actually the VGL voltage is missing from this gate curve and that's the reason for this panel complaint the cough IC model number is NT61302H-C5290A this is the model number of this cough IC here we soldered on the VGL test point while checking with multimeter here we found that the VGL voltage is missing and the VGH voltage is present so on the panel scalar PCB and this gate curve here we need to bypass the VGL voltage from the panel scalar PCB to this VGL test point on the gate cuff. See friends, here using a jumper wire, here we bypassed the VGL voltage from the panel. Take on board. See friends, from the scalar board, here you can see, here we soldered a visual voltage using a jumper wire and connected it to the VGL test point in the gate curve now in this condition here you can see the result this line will be there it's because of main curve damage we can repair that line by using a bonding machine here actually the main fault is because of VGL voltage missing in the gate curve so after bypassing the VGL voltage, you can see the result. Now the picture comes and the display is working properly. Also, it's a permanent solution. So now the next step is to fit this jumper wire properly we 
remember that this is a permanent solution not a temporary solution so we can call this method as a permanent solution if there is no side cough used in this panel then this panel is not repairable if it's a cog panel means chip on glass panel then in that situation repairing of this panel will be difficult here the repairing is possible only because of this panel has side cough see friends now finally here we fixed the jumper wire properly and here you can see the result instead of that the thin vertical line on the display will be there we can solve it only using a bonding machine other than now the display is okay and here you can see the graphics on the panel so now the panel is repaired successfully here you can see now i will show you the panel model number inolex v400h j9 hyphen md1 this is the panel model number so so friends finally here we connected speakers and all sockets back to this tv so here you can see the result we tested this tv display for more than continuous 6 to 7 hours so after that the display is working properly without any panel related issue so we can successfully say that this tv is repaired See friends this is DB model number TH40D400D so now we can put the back cover and all screws back to TV see friends finally here you can see the final result as we discussed earlier this vertical line will be there we can solve it only by replacing the main cuff using a bonding machine otherwise now the picture is crystal clear so that's it hope you like this video see you in another video with another interesting topics if you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications so thank you for watching for this kinds of interesting panel repairing videos please do like share subscribe our channel